Everywhere we look, we are reminded of COVID-19. It has essentially taken up all the medical oxygen this winter season. But what about other winter ailments that have plagued Carolinians? With well, here with more is Dr. Ryan Shelton with Tryon Medical Partners. And Dr. Shelton, welcome to the show. And let's get right into it because COVID is taking up all the oxygen, but there are a lot of other winter ailments. So what are some of the most common winter ailments that people deal with during the season? Yeah, Eugene, thanks for asking. That's a really good good question because we still have all the regular things going on. So in winter, people get more colds and sinus infections, more bronchitis, pneumonia, also gastroenteritis, which is usually caused by a virus, so like a stomach bug. Um, a lot more infectious illnesses tend to happen in the winter. And of course, we still have regular things to take care of, like diabetes and high blood pressure and asthma. And there are heart attacks and strokes happening. So we really have to take into account could something be COVID, uh, rule that out and you know, evaluate what are the, the other regular possibilities as well. Can most of these uh, things be avoided by doing good nutrition and exercise? So yeah, th those two things are, are super helpful and, and are important to do, you know, always probably more so in the winter. Um, staying home is the most helpful just to prevent other you know, infections from getting passed around. We've seen less flu so far mostly because of social distancing, masks. So that's, a, that's a been a silver lining a bit for this year so far. Um, also getting adequate sleep is the, one of the, if not the most important thing you can do for your immune system support. The body uh, needs adequate rest. You need to be consistent with that. I think we undervalue the importance of sleep. So that is critical for our body's immune system to have enough reserve to be able to handle these different infections when, when it's encountered. You know, because uh, people have been quarantined and been at home, what about handling these uh, these illnesses by over-the-counter medications? Yeah, so it depends on, there's a lot of different things over-the-counter that can treat symptoms. Um, not much is really going to cure something, but sometimes it just takes time. And so we just support the symptoms, uh, you know, through the illness. So we do want you to reach out to us, though, because we can better help you figure out, okay, do we need to evaluate you? Do we need to test for flu, covid strep throat, you know, is it something that you need to be looked at for? Um, but if it's minor and there's no, you know, major COVID risk, then we can recommend some things that are over the counter that can help for sore throat, cough, post-nasal drainage. Um, so we definitely want people to reach out to us because we can give you some good guidance that may not need an in-person or possibly need a virtual visit, you know, evaluation where we can better help direct things. So what if we do need to see the doctor? When should we see you? Yeah, so if you are feeling way worse, you know, gradually worse and not better, we, we need to know, we need to see you, we need to figure out what's going on. Um, I do feel that people are waiting too long now because uh, fear of COVID and, you know, we don't want you to end up in the emergency room, in the hospital, et cetera. So that's why we want you to reach out to us. Let us evaluate you at our satellite location to see, okay, do, is it COVID? Um, is it something else? Um, what do you need? to be doing, you know, to, to, to stay well and to get better. So we have to remember regular things are still happening. So we've got to be proactive. Sometimes a virtual visit will suffice. It just depends on what's going on, but please don't wait, like reach out to your doctor. That's what we're here for. Yes, we're handling COVID, but we're also doing the, the rest of the bulk of everything else, you know, as well. So don't, don't hesitate to, to get help if you have questions. And, and why is dry skin so prevalent during this time of year, sir? Yeah, so in the winter, that's that's one of the big um, winter ailments, actually, is people will get more dry skin, itchy, uh, cracked um, hands. We're doing more hand washing, which is necessary, and then the alcohol gels are drying, which are still helpful from an infection prevention, but we need to follow it up with using a moisturizer, um, try to take... Uh, a, a warm shower that's quicker and not use scalding hot water, um, maybe avoid using the antibacterial uh, liquid soaps in the shower and just use something milder like Dove and then put on a greasy lotion that you can sleep in you know, overnight, especially the lower legs get uh, a lot of dryness because we don't have as many oil glands there. So dry skin is something that can be a real nuisance, but if we get cracking, it can actually be a portal of entry for infection to get up and under the skin and to cause a cellulitis even. So where can we get more information? Yeah, so check out our website, tryonmed.com. And we have some great frequently, frequently asked questions, um, different articles about all these different topics we've uh, been talking about. So check out the website, tryonmed.com. Dr. Shelton, thank you very, very much, sir. Thank you.